Ever wondered what happens when you're put under anesthesia? Well, you're not alone. The world of anesthetics is a fascinating realm that combines science, medicine, and a sprinkle of mystery. Firstly, let's break down the concept of anesthetics. In simple terms, anesthetics are drugs used to prevent pain during a medical procedure. They allow doctors to carry out surgeries and procedures that would otherwise be unbearably painful or downright impossible. But, anesthetics aren't just about numbing pain. They play different roles such as making you sleep, relaxing your muscles, and even helping you forget the procedure. However, anesthetics are far from simple. They hold some intriguing secrets that continue to baffle scientists and medical professionals alike. How do they work exactly? Why do they affect people differently? And what can they reveal about the human brain and consciousness? Stay tuned as we delve into the five fascinating things you might not know about anesthetics. Did you know that anesthetics have been around for centuries? Yes, the journey of anesthetics is a long and fascinating one, dating back to the ancient times. The first recorded use of anesthetics can be traced back to the Sumerians of Mesopotamia around 4,000 years ago. They used opium poppy to induce sleep before surgical procedures. This was the humble beginning of a field that would later revolutionize medicine. Moving forward we see the Greeks and Romans using herbs and botanical concoctions for the same purpose. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and we have the use of a soporific sponge, a sponge soaked in a potent brew of herbs and plants, which was then held against the patient's face to induce unconsciousness. The real breakthrough, however, came in the 19th century with the discovery of ether. In 1846, Boston dentist William T.G. Morton made history when he successfully used ether as an anesthetic during a surgical procedure. This was a game changer. Ether was the first anesthetic to be widely accepted and used, and it paved the way for the development of modern anesthetics. Since then, the field of anesthetics has seen rapid advancements. Today, we have a wide range of anesthetics at our disposal, including local, regional, and general anesthetics. These are more refined, more effective, and safer than their historical counterparts. The techniques of administering anesthesia have also evolved. From the crude methods of the past, we've moved to sophisticated techniques like intravenous administration and inhalation through advanced, computer-controlled delivery systems. The journey of anesthetics is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of pain-free surgery. It's a fascinating story of how we've learned to control one of the most basic human experiences, pain. And it's a story that's still being written as researchers continue to explore new anesthetic drugs and techniques. Anesthetics history is indeed as deep and complex as its function, and it's a history that continues to shape the present and the future of medicine. Have you ever heard of anesthesia awareness? This might sound like a plot twist from a medical thriller, but it is indeed a real and intriguing phenomenon. Anesthesia awareness, or intraoperative awareness, is when a patient under general anesthesia can recall their surroundings or an event related to their surgery. Now, you might be picturing a person fully awake and feeling every cut of the scalpel, but that's not usually the case. Most often, anesthesia awareness involves vague, dreamlike memories. Some people recall snippets of conversation or sounds, others describe a sense of pressure or movement. It's rare for a patient to experience pain or distress, but when it does happen, it can be distressing and could lead to post-traumatic stress disorder. So how rare is this phenomenon? Studies suggest that anesthesia awareness occurs in one to two out of every thousand surgical procedures involving general anesthesia. That's a small number, but it's not insignificant when you consider the millions of surgeries performed each year. The factors contributing to this phenomenon are complex and varied. They can include patient characteristics, type of surgery, and even the specific anesthetic used. For instance, patients with a history of anesthesia awareness or those undergoing cardiac surgery may be at a higher risk. Certain medications can also increase the likelihood of this happening, but it's not all doom and gloom. The medical community is acutely aware of this phenomenon and takes it very seriously. Anesthesiologists are highly trained professionals who carefully monitor patients' vital signs and depth of anesthesia during surgery to ensure their comfort and safety. Moreover, technological advancements are continually improving our ability to monitor brain activity during surgery, which can help in preventing instances of anesthesia awareness. The science of anesthetics is complex and continually evolving, with patient safety and comfort at its heart. In conclusion, while anesthesia awareness is a chilling concept, it is a rare phenomenon. It stands as a testament to the complexity of anesthetics and the delicate balance anesthesiologists strive to maintain between unconsciousness and overexposure to these powerful drugs. 
Anesthesia awareness, a chilling yet rare phenomenon that testifies to the complexity of anesthetics. Do you know how general anesthesia works? It's a fair question considering how commonly it's used in surgeries worldwide. Yet, the exact mechanisms of how general anesthesia functions remain one of the greatest mysteries in the medical field. Now you might be thinking isn't it just a matter of turning off the brain? If only it were that simple. The process involves a delicate dance of chemicals that dull pain, induce unconsciousness, and relax muscles. But that's just the beginning. The anesthetic agents work in tandem, interacting with numerous receptors and proteins in the brain, creating an orchestra of effects that ultimately lead to the desired outcome, a state of painless unconsciousness. What's fascinating and equally perplexing is that different anesthetic agents don't always interact with the same receptors or proteins. This means there's not a one-size-fits-all approach to how these drugs work. Each one has its own unique method of action, making the task of understanding them even more complex. And here's the real kicker. Even though we know these agents interact with various parts of the brain, we still don't fully understand how these interactions result in the state of general anesthesia. It's as if we're looking at a beautifully painted canvas but can't quite decipher the artist's techniques. Research is ongoing, of course. Scientists are using state-of-the-art technologies like advanced neuroimaging and genetic studies to delve deeper into the mystery. They're exploring how these agents affect brain activity, communication between brain regions, and even individual neurons. Despite these efforts, the precise molecular pathways and mechanisms remain elusive. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces. Each discovery seems to lead to more questions than answers. But that's the beauty of science, isn't it? The quest for knowledge, the pursuit of understanding, the thrill of the unknown. General anesthesia, a mystery that continues to baffle scientists to this day. Have you ever considered what anesthetics can tell us about consciousness? Now that's a question to ponder. The relationship between anesthetics and consciousness isn't as straightforward as you might think. It's a relationship that's complex, fascinating, and continues to challenge the boundaries of our understanding. For many, the experience of being under anesthesia is akin to a deep dreamless sleep. But it's more than just a simple snooze. Anesthetics perform the amazing feat of temporarily altering our consciousness, effectively putting us into a state of suspended animation. How does this happen? Well, it's not entirely clear, and that's part of the intrigue. What we do know is that anesthetics work on the brain, disrupting the normal patterns of neural activity. They seem to interfere with the communication between different parts of the brain, effectively shutting down the network of connections that gives rise to consciousness. But the exact mechanisms of how this happens remain a mystery. This is where it gets interesting. The study of anesthetics can provide us with valuable insights into the nature of consciousness itself. By observing how these drugs affect the brain, we can glean important clues about what consciousness is and how it works. Consider this, if anesthetics can temporarily alter consciousness, then it suggests that consciousness is not a fixed state, but something that can be modulated. This challenges the traditional view of the mind as a static entity and opens up exciting new avenues for research. Moreover, the fact that we can recover from anesthesia suggests that consciousness is a resilient phenomenon. Even when it is suppressed, it can bounce back. This resilience of consciousness gives us hope in the face of conditions like coma or brain injury, where consciousness is impaired. So, the next time you think about anesthetics, remember they're not just about numbing pain or inducing sleep. They're about exploring the mysteries of the mind, about understanding the nature of consciousness. Anesthetics providing us with a unique window into the enigma of consciousness. So, what have we learned about anesthetics today? We journeyed through its history, learning that anesthetics have been mitigating pain and discomfort for more than a hundred years. We explored the unsettling phenomenon of anesthesia awareness where patients may be conscious during surgery, a rare but chilling event that informs our ongoing study of anesthetics. We delved into the mystery of general anesthesia, a complex process that yet remains a conundrum to scientists. We learned that general anesthesia doesn't just put you to sleep, but rather, it places you in a state that is more akin to a reversible coma. Finally, we connected the dots between anesthetics and consciousness, we discovered that anesthetics might be the key to understanding the brain's elusive consciousness puzzle. As we wrap up, let's remember, anesthetics are more than just a medical tool. They represent a fascinating field that keeps challenging our understanding of medicine and consciousness. Anesthetics more than just a medical tool is a fascinating field that keeps challenging our understanding of medicine and consciousness.